Alright, everyone. So now I'll show you uh, how to frame the document for render and uh, zoom out our model. Okay, so think of this as a restriction gate mask in Maya where you need to frame your renders properly. So default settings is in documents, zoom, or you can look at our interface, it's over here. Uh, I put one on the top here, and actually, actually the latest ZBrush version, they also include a zoom button on your right side here. The one with a zoom. Okay, so it actually sets the framing in the render correctly. And then we need to see the full edges of the canvas, which is hidden from view now, because uh, it's showing the 100% size of the model. Okay, so the canvas could be outside here right now. We didn't know. Okay, so we need to zoom it out, then we can see. So one more thing probably I want to uh, just highlight to you guys, this PDF, I was doing it uh, a few years ago. So the interface and the screenshots done for some of this, the colors might be a little bit different, but I did check the materials is still uh, relevant. So it doesn't use the interface so much. So uh, you can still follow it without worrying. Okay, so just want to point out to you. All right, so now uh, we will see the document in these four corners here. And then we can see that the character is very small. Then uh, you just need to position your character in the character angle that you want. And then you'll be able to make sure that uh, we know how to render this. Okay, so we control the full composition of this by the time we do this. And then you can also set the material to gray mid-tone color if you want to. Then you will not be too bright. And then uh, you can start setting up the camera's angles later. Okay, so I'll go to my ZBrush and show you again. So now we have our document size in 2007 and 1006 resolution, as I showed you before. So we talk about the zoom button. So this zoom document button, which is also here in the default layout, is very important. So unlike the zoom that we do a zoom with our control right click on the mouse, control right click on your tablet, it's different. So this is on the whole canvas. We are zooming out or in of the whole canvas. And it's important that we get this empty space here. We need to at least know where this edge is. Okay, the four corners. We need to know exactly where. Because it is when we do that, then we can frame this uh, render properly. So uh, you can tell ZBrush uh, currently our interface, the size is only like this. So your size uh, may be even smaller, I don't know. But uh, just don't let it exit, okay? Don't let it exit like this. Once it exits like this, you see, the render canvas is now on the outside. We don't know how much space we got for allowance on the outside. That means that if you were to uh, render like this, you know, there's actually still a big gap of empty space on the outside. Although you think that it's already very tight. Oh, I did a very tight render. But later when you see your JPEG render, you'll be laughing. Oh my God, so much empty space. Waste of time. Okay, so don't do that. Okay, zoom out of your canvas. Let the canvas, let yourself know where the canvas stops at. And then there you go here. This is exactly where we want to be. I know there is some empty space here. I'm not worried about it at all. In fact, I like to see it because I know exactly the corner where I can render my image. So that's perfect for me. A little bit of empty space in the corner. Very nice. And then uh, now if I frame my render like this, it's like, like I said, I'm very used to Maya. So this is like my gate mask in Maya. Without a gate mask in Maya, how do I control the head space? How do I control how am I rendering my object? Okay, you cannot. You start rendering things with so much empty spaces. People will think that you don't know composition. You don't even know how to render your stuff. You don't even know what a beautiful image is and you want to be an artist. So don't do that. Frame your image properly. Use the zoom button and then uh, place our canvas nicely. Then we can prepare it for render. Okay, so use this zoom button. Put it close to the edges. Have some empty space here. And then uh, now we can set up for rendering. So we can set up different camera angles and everything we render will have perfect composition. All right, see you in the next video. Bye.